proud to consider Tony Huang my friend. He's also been an environmental champion for our state, and I know he's been a very strong ad advocate for uh, this, this sanctuary. So I know um, Tony has, again, been a, been a very strong supporter of Newtown, and I'm great for all, for all that, and I'm happy to welcome him this morning. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Dan, and, and thank you, Pat Lodra, for your steadfast support of this town and, and a, a strong symbol of, of what this community is all about. I want to acknowledge all of you for being here today. It's cold, but our hearts are warm, and I think that's important. And it is truly important for us to acknowledge that today is a very important and solemn day. But it is also why this day was chosen for the groundbreaking. Because this sanctuary is part of a journey of healing. It is the goal of this sanctuary to create a haven for animals and for humans. To be able to seek sanctuary. For us to be able to have a pathway of healing. Now, the journey of healing is so different for so many different people. And I think this sanctuary provides that. It has no direct goal other than the fact that we are here to interact with our natural environment, our animals, but also to appreciate our presence in this good earth. And equally important is... This sanctuary honors, honors Catherine Violet Hubbard. We talked about the words of that, that she had spoken in regards to being kind, to caring for animals. Boy, could we use a lot of that kindness in this world. And that's what this sanctuary is all about. It is about people finding pathways finding opportunities to heal, to give back, to love. And I know, as I said before, it's cold, it's a solemn day, but another part of what this sanctuary means is you need to come back when you have the butterfly pollinator events, you have the animal adoption programs. I'm sorry, Dan, I didn't see the piglets or the birds of prey. But what you see in those events are families, are children, laughter, joy, celebration of life. You should see the faces of young families when they adopt a pet and leaving this place. Both have found love, support, and a family. That's what this sanctuary means. And I hope we never, ever forget that. Like I said, we're cold, but our hearts are warm because of what this place holds and will continue to hold for all of us. Now, Dan had mentioned my colleagues, Pat Lodra, former Senator John McKinney, former Representatives Deborah Lee Hovey, Mitch Belinsky, Tony Scott, Dan Carter, Rahib Ali Brennan. Even though I may not agree with Governor Malloy on many things, I want to acknowledge his efforts. And Chris Smith and I spent many hours talking about how we needed to get this land conveyed. It's about people caring. It's about people working together. And there are countless people, volunteers, staff, donors, that made all the difference in the world. You know, you always talk about success, not having people take credit. There were hundreds of thousands of people that made this day possible. And we want to acknowledge all of them by what I'm mentioning here. But we're all bound by one individual. And that individual has been selfless, who's turned anger and hurt into a goal to make this world better. And her name is Jenny Hubbard. And I'm so honored to call her a friend, but also an inspiration. 
And today is her day because she has led all of us to be here today. So God bless you, Jenny, and thank you.